Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. The world, yeah, right now you are, I mean, their world and they they feel like you're very, well, um, fertile and that's, that's really regardless of, um, you know, age or if anybody isn't fertile for any reason, it's it's more that you just, when they look at you, they just feel like, you know, mm. <laughs> whatever, whatever they're, um, you know, if, if um, you're a woman and they're a man, whatever that ideal woman is, you know, whatever sort of physical appearance that really gets them going, that's, that's how they feel about you. If you're a man, you know, whatever their um, ideal sort of manly or masculine energy is, um, that's how they see you. And you see, see how she's stretched back, she's doing her own thing, she's not paying attention, but they're looking at you and they're thinking, wow, there is something you do or a way you move your body or you gesture or something that they really, um, they really like and they're really looking at and you don't even you're not even aware of it um this as i said this could be if you're in a relationship and you see each other in person or maybe it's something you know a photo they're looking at or a memory they have okay i'll put a link to the last reading i did that was very um intense very passionate as well so this energy i don't think your person's managed to release this or transmute this or do anything about this it still seems to be very present the king of cups um what i actually got in my head when i pulled this was the phrase heart on so not hard on but heart on um there's a reader called i believe it's soul whispers tarot you she has quite um a large following so you might be aware of her and she pulls these messages that she's written and she has one that says heart on and it's about the way she explains it her intention behind it it's someone becoming aroused because of their love for you so it's not just physicality we definitely have that but this person they're they're fully in right now really in their feelings and you know they have these deep emotions and and this this love this appreciation for you is also arousing them just gonna say it Okay, what, <laughs> wow, what other messages do we have from my viewers, please? I see now why I was keen to get this reading going. The Knight of Wands in the reverse, more passionate energy, um, and the Five of Swords. So, yeah, they haven't released this. It's bubbling around inside them. They're conflicted about something. So let's get another row and see what the Eight of Swords in reverse. So there's a freedom about you that they love. You're not restricted by paradigms or society or convention. Maybe at one point um, they kind of sensed there was something about you that was restrictive or you were restricting yourself or there was, you know, some way in which you weren't completely stepping into your power. They really see that you have now and, um, you know, yeah, I mean, they, they can't get enough. Actually, yeah, it looks like the same woman, doesn't it? Even her hair is the same. See how here she's all closed, she's small, she's restricted and now this is you. Whether you're a woman or a man watching this, it's the energy. You know, you're, you're open, your chest is open, you're, um, you know, there's a strength that's coming from within there's movement as well you know like sort of um the energy isn't stagnant wow okay <laughs> hearing in my head the alpha and the omega i mean this person is looking at you as, as like everything okay we have the two of cups so your person knows that this connection is still here and they really hope and do believe that you feel it too but what they are acknowledging is there is some form of disconnect there is some kind of repair that needs to happen here they're sitting on these feelings for you why the six of swords in reverse so they're making a return to you for some of you, this could physically be returning, moving back in. Um, for some of them, I feel they may be moving house, actually. So they might be moving closer to you. But otherwise, this is a return to communication, a return to this connection. Especially if they pulled back or ghosted or anything like that. What are they conflicted about? Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. They're looking at their past selves from a much... Um, 
a much more mature place. They're more advanced, they're more experienced, is what I'm being shown. They feel like their behaviour in the past was actually petty. You may have had lots of mind games, lots of unspoken battles, you know, um, who would who would ghost the other first or who would win an argument or um you know all of that sort of nonsense and in the mo that you know that felt really important to them at the time even though each time it was a hollow victory and now they're looking back at that saying what nonsense okay can we get one for the five of swords wow the well so this is about working with the energy of mother earth again this energy that they feel you have, it's like you're connected to nature, to just eternal abundance here. There's a, a like a sens sensuality um, that comes, that, that just sort of radiates off of you. Okay. So this to me doesn't really explain why they're feeling conflicted. So let me go in and look again at this Five of Swords. Because this energy, this is one of inspiration, of growth, finding um, solutions to obstacles. So tell me about this Five of Swords, please. This doesn't really feel like it fits into me, so what is it doing here? The King of Swords, the Hermit in Reverse, the Two of Pentacles. Oh, there's a situation outside of you that's got them in their heads here. Hmm. Okay, okay, whatever this situation is, another person, work, beliefs, family, whatever their heart isn't in it it's, it's very much in the headspace it's about logic um it, they could be staying somewhere or doing something because rationally it seems to make sense even though they're feeling overstretched they're unhappy so that's okay no wonder it didn't fit this this literally is not part of your connection it doesn't fit in your connection um yeah this situation has caused pain to them for sure possibly to you as well and they're kind of getting over this, but there needs to be that one final step towards the Four of Swords, rest, recovery, healing, that inspiration of how to deal with this. Okay, let's go in. Let's look more at the world here. The Five of Cups and the Four of Cups. Mm, yes, so they felt very sad. I'm hearing regret. Um, oh, self-denial. They denied themselves. Okay, so continuing with this, this passion, if they felt very tempted by you in the past, they may have pulled back because of this, and they, they didn't tell you this is why. They felt like they were going to make some kind of mistake or do something that they didn't want to do because they couldn't control you know their feelings for you. So that might resonate for some of you. But either way, they feel that they've deprived themselves of this soul connection, something very special. But they're coming out of this energy. We move to the Four of Cups. You know, they see they see that something is still here. They really hope you feel it too. Um, you know, and they're wanting to, to make something of this, to do something with this love between you. You can see how the king is holding this cup. Yes, they want healing. They want to mend things. We have Leo energy here. There's a need to bring you some kind of clarity. Oh, about their feelings. Okay. So this person, when they drink, they could get really in their um, emotions about you. I'm, I'm feeling as well when they're falling asleep. Let's see what they view you as having freed yourself from. What was restraining you in the past? Oh, definitely restrained. Maybe they saw you waiting for them. Yeah, waiting for your, you know, your wish to come true with them. Um, feeling, yeah, you were waiting to take a leap of faith. And it, they probably liked knowing that you were there, but there's something about the fact that you've you've moved forward anyway. You're not keeping yourself stuck for them. That's really got their attention. That's making them see your strength, your power. The fact that you're not making these moves to play any games. You're not saying, oh, look, I've walked away. Are you going to follow me? It's nothing like that. You're actually just living your life. And uh, yeah, it's really... Um, really interesting to them it's kind of pushing them well i shouldn't say pushing no it's making them want to step into this energy divine masculine energy mm. yeah it's like in the past in some way they might have felt that you were verbally energetically emotionally almost pleading with them saying choose me choose me take this leap of faith with me and they weren't and it got to the point where you said okay fine you know, I don't want to necessarily move forward without you and free myself from this, but 
I have to and I will and you have done because you know you can't just wait forever and it's, it doesn't have to be one or the other it doesn't have to be I'm going to go you know going to string myself up here and not do anything and not live my life or I'm going to move forward you can move forward and still hold space which is what I feel you've done okay let's look at this king of cups yeah he's thinking about the things in his life that don't feel successful this situation over here he doesn't want to juggle anymore he doesn't want to breadcrumb you more passion here he wants to to make a return i think this person pulled away and you might have been wondering why i think they were scared you know if they um, blocked you on social media or unfriended you or something like that and it seemed like there was no reason there's something about your presence that felt like a threat you know um not that you were going to do anything bad to them but the feelings they have for you it threatened maybe stability or it threatened um the, the actions it made them want to take it threatened their view of themselves or you know something like that it's like they can't control themselves when they're around you or when they're speaking to you tell me about the two of swords temperance absolutely like i said they know this connection is still here they're hoping you feel it too they want to speak with you they want to smooth things over they want to transmute any low vibrational energy and to just bring healing got Sagittarius here. We also have Virgo with the Hermit as well. Okay, let's get one more. Hmm, let's get another one. Why, what is this Two of Swords? Why are they in their head? What are they thinking about? Ooh, bringing you in from being out in the cold or wanting to come in from being out in the cold, wanting to reconnect but wondering how are you going to receive them? You know, are you going to decapitate them? Are you really mad? Are you angry because they did a disappearing act? Um, or they pulled back or they became cold or they didn't prioritize you, you know, whatever your particular situation, are you going to be defensive? Are you going to open your heart to them? Because this person, the, the way they feel about you right now, the feelings they have, have come into and come to realize they cannot, they cannot, um deal with rejection it would crush them it would destroy them so this is a big fear and i think they're going back and forth back and forth i think i'll reach out i'm gonna have faith i know in my heart this connection is still here actually no let me wait and watch a bit longer because i i will be devastated if you know my person you the viewer doesn't want me actually no my heart's saying to do it and it's been long enough I might lose them they might meet someone else for example let me do it actually no if I go too soon <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna mess this all up back and forth back and forth wow okay let's get some oracle cards for you where are they here and I got a new deck yesterday that I was gifted so I want to pull a card from that as well okay that's going to be advice for you so can we get some messages please to my viewer to my subscriber from their person what does this person want to say to them yes i just wasn't ready for you this is why they pull back well now they are and they're wondering are you ready for them are you you know are you there are you open to them songs are speaking to me so lyrics from songs are perhaps reminding them of you maybe there's a song that you share and they're hearing that a lot i feel yeah i'm getting this energy where's that card uh i think it's the king of cups when they drink or when they're falling asleep whenever their guard you know their, their conscious mind their ego is a little bit down they get really in their feelings when they hear a song that's sort of sentimental or it reminds them of you you know all these feelings come up and that's because they're always now just below the surface so anytime your person doesn't have complete control these feelings come up you inspire me exactly why because you you were restrained in some way or they viewed you as being limited or limiting yourself and now you're completely free like i said it's like you're working with the energy of the earth you know mother nature an infinite supply of abundance they look at you as, as being so abundant in terms of health beauty finances everything around you and you might be saying wow they have rose tinted glasses on but honestly that's that's how they feel that's how they're seeing you maybe some of you are saying no this is true i've really worked on myself i'm glad they can see 
Okay, so, woof, exactly. See, you are an angel. You are on a pedestal, a super high pedestal that no one else can even reach. I mean, yeah, you're an angel. That's exactly what I was feeling. I've thought about you a lot lately, and they have. They've thought about you in terms of admiring you, your beauty, your, I'm hearing intellect, everything. They've also thought about you um, in terms of, you know, passion. Okay, I never know how to phrase that, because, you know, we are on YouTube. It is a public reading. Okay, let me get the other cards. Um, actually, let's do these first. So these messages could be, ah, see, there we go. These messages could be from your person or from spirit. So messages, please, to my viewer, let's see. So first out, all this root chakra energy, more nature. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Mm. Go with the flow, you'll be surprised where it leads. And that's making me think of this. Your person is very stressed out. Why? Because this situation needs to end. And it's not even so much that they're resisting it, they're trying to find this way out at this time. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So maybe a message from spirit there. If you're feeling low, if you feel like, you know, you are waiting for this person, they're not coming in or, you know, there's a bit of struggle or, you know, something is just not how you're wanting at this time. Focus on the positives and the negatives. Not to say that they'll just magically fall away. Often they do. Um, or if they're very, if they seem very significant, they at least don't carry as much weight and won't influence you and, and how you're feeling so much. Okay. We have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is, is sotted. Okay, let me get the other deck and then we'll get some advice. Okay. Oh! And um, somebody wanted to know about my spell deck. What is it? So it's it's this. And I just got it off Amazon, so um, it should be very easy to find. Okay. So can we get a message, please? Some advice or some insight from my viewer's spirit. So after we've done this, we'll move into the one question, one card reading. If you're wondering what that is, um, I invite you to leave a question in the comments down below and I randomly select someone um, to pull a card for in the next reading. So we pick one card to answer your question. So if you want to get involved, just leave your question down below in the comments. Okay, so what message please for my viewers, for my subscribers, Spirit? Thank you. Ooh, adjustments are required and you know I cannot just leave it there. Maybe you know what it is, but maybe you don't. So let's see what kind of adjustments. What kind of adjustments are required here, please? For some of you, again, I'm getting moving. Maybe you moved house or your person moved house or you're wanting to move and that obviously that's that's not going to be everyone so let's see what kind of adjustments are required please the ten of swords so adjusting your perspective adjusting your energy your frequency overcoming some kind of pain a feeling of betrayal okay maybe yeah maybe you were stabbed in the back maybe you were betrayed but you know whoever did this to you do they do they deserve to have you, you know, are you going to let them keep you down like that forever? Absolutely not, you know. Um, no, they've moved forward and they're doing their own thing. If it's your person, yes, they probably regret this, but you staying down is not going to change anything, you know. So take those swords out and use them. I'm getting a really weird image. So there's ten swords. Take six of them out and use them to move forward. The six of swords energy. One of the swords, use it as the ace of swords, the sword of truth. You know, use this. Take the wisdom from this. Use it to your advantage. And I feel you already have um, done this, you know, with this card here, the world. And the world is about closing a cycle, moving on, learning a lesson. Okay, any other adjustments?
Any other adjustments, please? Yeah, the tower in reverse. I really feel this is about adjusting your perspective. Yeah, realizing that you are powerful here. There's something you might want to do as well, but it's going to require a leap of courage, stepping outside of what feels familiar, what feels safe. And I think Spirit's encouraging you to do so. Again, I know I keep talking about it, but the two of wands is moving or movement. Maybe it's not permanently moving home, but some kind of travel. It could be, you know, it could even be psychological travel, changing perspective, like I said. Okay, so take whatever resonates from those adjustments. Maybe it's something entirely different and you know very clearly what this is talking about. Okay, so if you're leaving us, thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, the link is in the description box below. You can join the Facebook group, um, listen to my free meditations. If you're sticking around, we're going to do the one question, uh, one card reading. So um, let's dive in. Thank you for your question, Nicole. So let's see, will FC ever open up and express his true feelings for you? So Spirit, will FC ever open up and express his true feelings for Nicole? Can you give us a card to show us, please? Okay, perfect. <gasps> yes, yes, he will. And there's, you know, yeah, there's nothing more to say, is there? The Ace of Cups, perfect. So, yes, and if you were wondering what his true feelings are, and it doesn't really seem like you were, but if you had any doubt, you know, really pure, lovely feelings. At most, he's in love. At, le at the very least, you know, there's a real... Um, uh, sort of an open-heartedness and an excitement about exploring, seeing where this could go. Um, I feel the word valuable coming out. He sees you in this connection as very valuable. So yes, I do think he will. Um, he will open up and express his feelings to you and his feelings are very pure and genuine um, and deep as well. Okay, so thank you for the question. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you on Friday and we'll have a look at what's hidden from you. So um, is there anything that you should know about your connection that you're not aware of? Anything that's currently in existence in the 3D, so it's already manifested? Anything that's manifesting? Anything about you or your person? Anything that's interfering with your connection or anything that could potentially benefit your connection? So um, yeah, that's what we'll do on Friday. So um, leave your questions down below if you want to enter for the next one question, one card reading. Uh, take care and I'll see you then.